right, man, let's talk real quick. The Houston Rockets are already looking to trade um, second year. I guess he's going to third year, Jalen Green. Um, you know, and, you know, some of us wanted him over K. Cunningham. Uh, I mean, obviously, you can look to add him to the Pistons roster. That would be funny. Um, maybe you can come here and carry K and J and Ivy bags or whatever, but Obviously, the Pistons are gonna be in a could be in a dilemma this off season with Scoot Henderson if they land the second or third pick. Um, I think Houston, and I'm gonna talk about this too in this video. I think Houston is tired of the young players and they are gonna move on. Um, and they want to get veteran guys now. You know, are they expecting to land? I mean, they in the same predicament we in. It's really for them. I mean, well, they kind of in the same predicament we in, right? Because check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist before I talk about Jalen Green. Because for them, honestly, you look at their rosters. Kevin Porter Jr. got it. The Pistons could have could have drafted, didn't, because of character concerns. Um, then you got uh, Jab sorry Jabari, um, Cam Martin Jr., uh, Josh Christopher. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So. I mean, could they absorb another guard? Yeah, they could. But it's a funny thing about that because they're in a position where they guard heavy. You know what I'm saying? And like like us, for them, the difference is they don't have a, 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 a guy that's close to a true point like Kay Cunningham. They got Jalen Green, who who's a who's a straight two guard. That's what he is. You got Kevin Porter Jr. trying to learn to be a, a, a point guard. So in reality, they got two. They got a true two, and then they got a combo guard who really a two that's trying to play the one. So, and then you look at it, you say, well, you know, let's say they add a Brandon Miller. I mean, he's a very efficient scorer, and he can fit. But if you're really thinking about keeping Jalen, let's say okay, let's say they think about keeping Jalen Green and whatever, and, and and Kevin Porter. Okay, ideally then, if you ideally looking for you know the ideal fit, you looking for a point forward then at that point. You looking for a Grant, a Scotty, a LeBron James, uh, somebody in that that somebody in that position who gonna be able to run the offense, initiate the offense, and they kind of can facilitate. Right, if you're gonna trade Jalen Green, and maybe they feel that Jalen Green um can get more than Kevin Porter on the market. So I think they're in a position where they saying, you know what? We'll take we'll trade Jalen Green, and if we don't get Victor Walla Banana, we'll trade Jalen Green and we willing to pair him with that pick, or we willing to trade Jalen Green and trade the pick separately to bring back some some veteran pieces to go in Houston. You know, because a lot of their pieces, they don't really fit, right? Jabari Smith, yeah, he can stretch the floor, he can shoot it, and that's a luxury, but then again, you need him to be at the rim and being more efficient shooting the ball. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, Jalen Green, yeah, he can score, he can shoot, but, you know, and Kevin Porter is that they both natural score, so you don't have a facilitator, you don't have a bunch of natural shooters. You got a lot. Of, you got a team that's young, who athletic, who who like to get up and down the floor, don't play no defense, don't shoot, and then you don't have a facilitator on top of it. You know, it's, it's really a team where a lot of the talent doesn't mesh, right? See, it's it's quite different from the Detroit Pistons. It's not that the Pistons talent don't mesh or don't mix together. It's that Dwayne Casey got the 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 the, the, bo the boiled macaroni over here. He got the pet milk over here. He got the you know a uh, uh, sharp cheese over here. He got the, sh the the whatever else you know. He got the salt and pepper over here. He got this the the shredded cheese that go over the top over here. You know you know, whatever whatever you may want to say. Whatever you put in your macaroni, he got the. Sour cream over here. Some people put that in there. You know, he got the butter over here or whatever. So, like, he got all these different ingredients, you know, that they go together. 
But for whatever reason, he trying to serve them all separate. Like who want to eat butter? Who want to just eat the cheese? Who just want to salt and pepper and dip that finger in salt and pepper? You want it all mixed together. You want to be able to bake it and then serve it and eat it. Well, Houston, you know what I'm saying? They got, you know, macaroni over here and then you got some uh, 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 yams over here and then you got some, I don't know, you know, paprika and some this shit that just don't go to get don't make a great meal. It's not it's not going to amount to even at their pinnacle. Everybody playing at their pinnacle is not good enough to win. So they got a lot of parts that don't go together. With the Pistons, when you talking about Bojanovic, Burks, Dern, K, J, Nivey, that's a, that's they go together. They they can work, right? Now, do you need some more ingredients or parts to make make it go? Yeah, they do need to add a few more things to make it go. But Houston just got a lot of got a lot of talent that don't go together. Then you need a veteran here to stabilize it. So they kind of in the same position. I figure if they don't run the lottery, they gonna flip that pick. And they willing to trade Jalen Green, which I'm gonna get to. So I think they gonna flip that pick if they don't. If they don't. If they don't win the lot. Now they might say, "Well, we gonna move Jalen Green for a veteran, and we gonna let Scoop come in to be the to be the point guard, and we gonna move Kevin Porter back to his natural two. All right, you know, you know Brandon Miller. You know maybe it might be Scooter Victor. It might just be Victor. So. You know, but they want to trade Jalen Green. I think they're in the same position the Pistons in. I think a lot of people think, you know, if the Pistons, if the Pistons move, if they get five, if they get four, and it ain't Brandon Miller or, you know, whatever they end up with, Scoop and everybody else, you know, they, a lot of people think like maybe it's Victor or Bus. I think Brandon Miller or Victor, that they're going to move the pick, you know, for a veteran player. Um, so, but, you know, with Jalen Green being on the move, um, I mean, obviously he scored 20 this year. Um, he's a talented player. Didn't shoot the ball particularly well. Um, and maybe they feel like that's their most valuable piece. And, 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 and I, and in my mind, I think you might see something of, and maybe Douglas the coach there, you may see some form here. Jalen Brown could not be happy there. And, he could want his own team, and that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous game to play. You know, it's a dangerous game to play. Everybody wanna go somewhere to be the man, but you hear people in hindsight say, Man, you know, I think about all the time. If I would have stayed here and we could have won this, that, and the third. Everybody let their bravado. Everybody let that bravado get to them. Excuse me. You know, everybody, you know, I want to be the man, and then you go be the man somewhere. And you losing all these games, you winning scoring titles, and you know what I'm saying? You know, you getting all-star games, but you ain't winning. You know? And you caught up in who team it is, and then you let the media get between you and, and Tatum and, and all that shit, man. Y'all let them play and run that game they run. They just look for story. Don't nobody do that shit alone. But y'all can see them going, you know, going to Boston and them sending that pick in Jalen Brown over there to Houston. I mean, Jalen Green to pick over to Jalen Brown and Jalen Brown going down to Houston, booming city. Um, you know, I, I don't think the Pistons will have just if, hypothetically. I don't think they would do this anyway. I don't think they will have the veteran player that 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 Houston would be looking for for Jalen Green to come him for him to come here carry K bags. You know, him to come here bring his press on fingernails and his finger paint here and you know his crochet braids and shit like that. So. His Victoria's Secret body spray. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it mesh in the city of Detroit, that metrosexual shit he got going on. You know what I'm saying? His thong sandals with his his French manicure painted toes and all that shit and his matches set. I don't think that really mesh with our culture. Now, you know, he can go, he can, you know, I don't know what they do in Houston. You know what I'm saying? He can keep his purse and his, you know, his fanny pack purse combination set, you know, and keep that shit somewhere else. Go to Boston with that shit. Don't, don't come here with that. But, I mean... I mean, it's it's shocking that they. I mean, but then again, he is their best player. So if they trying to go out there, and, and, and nobody ever gonna get true value for it. They never got true value for Shaq. They never got true L.A. They never got true value for uh, um, uh, um, I mean, Tracy McGrady. I think walked in free agency, but you, know, you see stars get traded. You just never really see them get equal value. So 
Uh, Boston not going to get equal value for Jalen Brown. You know what I'm saying? If, if that's what he chooses to do, I think I got one year left and he can say, well, you know what? I ain't coming back. So, um, but hey, overall, it is what it is. Um, and I think Houston and Detroit might be in similar situations where, you know, if it ain't Victor, you know, we could be moving that pick, you know, for a veteran player, you know. But the thing about the thing I think the difference is, is Houston got a lot of pieces that don't fit each other. They got a lot of young talent. You know, they all can run, jump, dunk. You know what I'm saying? They all can do that. But I think now it's kind of like, well, I mean, you do could come and it's like, okay, you know, I think they want to do a makeover. And maybe they may be expecting to get Scoot Henderson. You know what I'm saying? But they really don't have a floor general. Um, You know, and the shooting is pathetic over there right now. So, you know, it's going to take time. If they bought in defensively, I think they still would be a hell of a group. But um but yeah, I just think we we in a different spot. I just think uh our town our talent our, our our talents ain't being meshed in Detroit. Now they got a lot of a lot of spare parts that shouldn't be a part of the program. They're growing absolutely. Marvin Bagley. I mean, some people can make a case for James Wiseman just complicating shit. Killian Hayes, you know, guys like that. Yeah, I think it should really be Boyanovich, Burks. K, Ivy, Dern, them your guys right there. You know Isaiah Stewart. Been seeing enough of him, and people st- I like just see it enough. I don't want to see no more. Marvin Bagley can't stay healthy, can't defend. I didn't seen enough. Uh, Killian Hayes, we didn't seen enough. I like to keep Diallo, but he's selling his crib. So hey, it is what it is. I feel him. Some promises was broken to him. Um, Isaiah Livers just can't stay healthy enough. So you need guys that you can depend on, and they need defense first, shooting. You know, they need that. So, like I said, a lot of these guys they got on this roster can kick rocks. But they do got some guys that do mesh well, do play play well together, and can play well together if they put together right. So, you know, Jalen Green being on the move might be a reality check for some of these people. But I just think I know what they're going to try to do. They gonna, they might try to pair that pick and Jalen Green and go get Jalen Brown. So, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live drop video. Check out the Mercy Sports Talk play. Uh, uh, Mercy Star- Sports Talk 313 on uh, TikTok. Appreciate that. Uh, hit the link tree. You can find the TikTok, the Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.